Hi everyone, it's Daniela, Tall Girl Danny. In this video, I'm going to show you how I pre pooed my hair after rocking the twist out from my mini twists for about four or five days, I don't remember. I'm a little delayed with uploading because I've been super busy, so my apologies for that. So, again, I had my mini twist in for about three weeks, for three weeks, and then I rocked the twist out for four or five days. I don't remember now because that was about two weeks ago that I originally recorded this footage. So, to pre-poo my hair, I, my plan was to just use um, Jamaican black castor oil solely. Uh, so I had a little uh, pouring error there. So I applied um, the Jamaican black castor oil to a small section in the back and I just want to show you how slow, how slowly I actually went in finger detangling my hair. I speed up my videos just so that, you know, everything can be condensed and, you know, it won't take an hour for you to watch what I do. But I just wanted to show you that I actually do this process very, very slowly. Um, I was very careful because again, my hair hadn't been combed in basically a month. So I am anticipating that, you know, there will be a lot of hair that comes out. In the last video, when I took them, took the mini twist out, there was very little hair that came out. And I had a feeling that, you know, during this, this time when I'm really doing a deep finger detangling, um, that a lot more hair would come out. And I got up just because I realized that the Jamaican black castor oil enough alone wasn't enough and wasn't giving me enough slip. Uh, if you've ever used Jamaican black castor oil, it's very thick and uh, kind of sticky. The consistency is a little like honey. So for this particular um, pre shampoo, I, I wanted to have more slip because again, my hair hadn't been combed. Uh, there was a lot of uh, knots and a lot of loose hair. So I just decided to, you know, as I usually do, pre-poo with just conditioner. So this time I'm pre-pooing with both conditioner and the Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm just carefully really going through each section very slowly. Um, first I finger detangle to kind of get out the knots and then I try to finger comb my hair. So. I do everything with my fingers um, at this point and here I'm just adding a little bit more oil to the section and then once I'm done with thoroughly finger detangling each section I just two strand twist it. So I do that basically all over my head um, and at the end I am like collecting all the hair that came out and I will show you how much hair came out from you know, the pre-shampoo and the finger detangling. So I was actually surprised. There was only one area where I had a knot that had to be cut out. And this is that area here. So when I come across knots like this, what I do is I really, really take my time and go slowly. And I try to remove all the hair that can be removed from it. So sometimes there's a knot and there's like 10 strands or more that are all tangled up in there. So I carefully try to separate out whatever strands I can so that I'm left with, you know, as few strands as, as possible. Um, and once I can't get any more of the strands out of the knot, I just, you know, grab a pair of scissors and I just cut the knot out because, you know, that wasn't gonna go anywhere. Um, I try not to rip the knots out, but um, I am guilty of that if I come across them when I'm not at home and when I'm not, you know, actually detangling my hair. Every now and then I'll come across a knot that I'll kind of rip out, which is something that I'm trying to stop doing because I'm sure that's not a good practice. So now I'm done um, with the pre-shampoo and this is the amount of hair that came out. And again, this is just from finger detangling. I didn't use any combs or brushes. And I let this pre-poo mixture of conditioner and Jamaican black castor oil sit in my hair for one hour before I went in the shower. In the shower, I shampooed and conditioned and deep conditioned. I'll list all the products that I used uh, in the description box. So this is the amount of hair that came out in the shower from finger detangling. Once I finished finger detangling, I did use my paddle brush to detangle in the shower and more hair did come out and it was stuck in the brush. I didn't really feel like uh, pulling it out. If you notice, I have, um, I use my old paddle brush. I keep that one in the shower, so I use that one solely for detangling, and then I have another paddle brush that I use on dry hair, which you'll see later. So now I'm gonna use my lock method to moisturize my hair. So as my liquid or leave-in, I'm using the Talia Wedge Detangler. And, you know, I just 
take a generous amount and I run that through each of the sections. So what I do now is I do all the sections at once because I find that um, doing this method works best when all your hair is wet. And you know, I, I don't like to have to respray my hair. So my hair is actually very wet even though it doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna do all four sections at once. And my hair is um, detangling, detangled fully from the shower. I thought I saw a knot there, um, but when I stretched it out, there wasn't really a knot. Or it was just some, I think, some loose hair that was still in there. So again, the first step in the lock method is your liquid. Your liquid doesn't have to be a leave-in. It can actually be water, so you know that's up to you. I'm using a leave-in because I feel like my hair can use all the conditioning uh, it can get. So the next step is O for oil. So I'm using sweet almond oil, which I think I've said before is one of my favorite my favorite oils. It's not too heavy. Um, like the Jamaican black castor oil, I usually just use to pre-poo. Um, I don't really use that on a day-to-day -day because it is a bit heavy for my taste. And the C in the lock method is for cream. And for my cream, I'm using the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. It's interesting because I'm in a natural hair, I'm in a few natural hair groups on Facebook. And in one of the groups, uh, Type 4 Naturals, I'll give you guys a shout out. I think I have a couple of new subscribers from that group, so thank you. And it's interesting because someone posted about this particular product and it's so interesting when it comes to products. Some people really um, did not like this product because they said it was really heavy and it leaves buildup in their hair. And I love this product. It doesn't leave any buildup in my hair and I don't find it to be heavy. So it's, you know, you really have to use, you know, just try things out for yourself sometimes because what works for you may not work for others and vice versa. There might be products that, you know, people really love and you know your hair might not love them so again it's always about you know figuring out what your hair likes so the cream again is going to be you know it's the C in my moisturizing method and this is also going to be my my styler so what I'm going to use to twist my hair and yeah I'm just running it through you know finger detangling a little bit more so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to two strand twist my hair um, with the intent to wear it in a twist out. So I'm just sectioning off, I had my hair in four sections, I'm sectioning off um, one of the back four sections into, I split it in half. Now I'm going to take my, you know, paddle brush that I use on clean hair and, you know, detangle a little bit more. Then once that's fully detangled, I'm gonna split it in half yet again, add a little bit more cream if I feel like I need it, and then just two strand twist that section. So for each section of four, I made four twists. So I ended up with a total of 16 twists in my hair. So my hair was really wet. Um, I did have plans to go out to the movies the next day. So I was prepared that you know my hair might not be dry. I was considering stretching my hair by either banding or, or braiding the twists to make them a little bit longer. But as I was just pulling my hair, honestly, my head kind of was sore because I, you know, I guess I, <laughs> I, I hadn't been, you know, in my hair for like a month. So all of the, you know, pre-pooing, pre the detangling, the washing, the deep conditioning, um, my scalp was actually a little sensitive. So I decided to just leave it alone, you know, and allow them to shrink. So this is the next day. Unfortunately, because I was going out, I didn't have time to make a video. So this is what the twists look like when I unraveled them. This is what they look like when I separated them. And here's another angle. I didn't pick it out. I just separated them using my fingers. So I was going to do a one side pin up, but my hair actually was not fully dry, so I decided to pin the hair back a little bit more. And this is just a final look with, you know, my earrings. Earrings always complete the look for me. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. 
And everyone, please stay tuned because I will be doing a giveaway very soon. So make sure you tell a friend, tell them to subscribe, and stay tuned to find out how you can get in on that. Thanks again for watching. Bye.